hello this is your girl mama motor mouth um with another episode of i86 that um this is a question this is number 10 of um you know 10 ways that you know that you are being used um number 10 is when you know deep down in your gut in your heart that you are being used and uh, like a lot of times um you know we'll have that gut feeling you know telling us okay yeah something's not right or this person is acting weird or you know this person isn't doing what they started out at the beginning doing so um you just have that gut feeling and, and of course you know your gut feeling is it's always the right feeling you know because when you have that that gut wrenching twist in your stomach that just tells you something you know um a lot of us go with it you know a lot of us try to ignore it because you know like i said we try to give people the benefit of the doubt but when you have that feeling just go ahead and go with it because it is telling you right that, that gut feeling is telling you right but um but when it's like that um you know like i said that that gut feeling um then you just go with it you know you you just go with the floor do you go with the flow um a lot of times, you know, uh, when a person's not all the way in, you know, with you or in the relationship with you, um, they know that they can walk away scot-free, you know what I'm saying, and um, go on to the next person because they didn't have, you know, nothing. They didn't put anything in. They didn't put uh, any type of investment in it. So my thing is, like I said, uh, in the other two, um, part one and part two, um, you know, just keep it real, you know, say what you mean to me, what you say, uh, tell me what you want at the beginning and let's just make an arrangement for it. You get what I'm saying? That way we both are going in eyes open. No one's going in blind and, you know, we pretty much know what we're getting ourselves into. So, um, the thing about it is, um, when you make that arrangement, it's, um, pretty much making an arrangement for time management. And I say that it's because, um, you know, now that I know what it is that you want, and now that I know what it is that you expect, then we can make our we can we can time manage what we can do around what you know that arrangement, that particular arrangement, and we both have a mutual standpoint at what it is that you know we want to do. So my thing is, don't play me, and I won't play you. You know, don't come at me saying that okay, yeah, I want a relationship, I want a relationship, but then you don't want to invest anything in that relationship. You know what I'm saying? You just want to use me, or you just want to take my investment, and you just want to run with it. You get what I'm saying? So you use me for my investment, but then you don't want to invest anything inside the relationship, and, and you know that's not fair. That's not what I feel uh, how it should be. You get what I'm saying? You know, and I mean, it's just that's that's horrible. I just feel that that's just horrible. Like I said, I mean, I I, I hate the fact that people lie. You know, um, like I said, we all have lied, you know, in our time or in our day. But, you know, when it comes to something big like this, when you're dealing around with other people, um, hard and other people's feelings and other people, you know, time and stuff like that. I mean, I've, I've seen too many people get hurt and get killed and get murdered for, you know, something that they could have just been uh, truthful about from the beginning. So, um, the thing about it, uh, stupid is a great teacher. You know, really it is. And eventually, it kills all of his students. You get what I'm saying? So don't be stupid about the situation. Don't be stupid about what's happening, what's going on. You get what I'm saying? And when you do find out what's really happening and going on, you go ahead and walk yourself right on about the situation. And let's keep it moving. You get what I'm saying? Because, you, like I said, you don't expect for everybody to be as forthright or to be as honest as, you know, you may be. You get what I'm saying? So my thing is, how many times do you have to um, keep going through the same thing and you renaming it. No, it's the same doggone thing. Stop trying to rename the same thing. You know what I'm saying? No, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. You, ha you have to make a choice to take a chance to make a change in your life. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to repeat that again. Make a choice to take a chance to make a change in your life. Come on now. Everything is all about choices. Everything in your life is all about choices. You're right or wrong. It's all about choices. Whether you do it right or whether you do it wrong. Even a baby have choices. You get what I'm saying? And when you tell that baby that dog gonna stole hot, okay. They still make a choice to, to touch it. But when they find out that that stove was really hot, after like mom and dad said that that stove was hot, I bet you they won't touch the stove no more because they ain't trying to get burnt no more. You get what I'm saying? And then that's how it should be in, you know, the way we think or the choices that we make. You know, when you find out that it have burned you, <laughs> hey, that's all right. Mm -mm. not trying to get burned no more so that's what I, I mean about going through the same thing over and over again and renaming it you know what I'm saying you shouldn't have to do that don't do yourself like that why because you're valuable you're special you're unique you know so don't let nobody use you 
don't let nobody do you like that. Don't be used by no one. You get what I'm saying? This for the women and this for the men. Don't let nobody do you like that. So when you get that gut-wrenching feeling that you know that you're being used and something's not right, then you just go ahead and walk away from that situation, especially if you've already had that mature conversation with that person about what it is that you expect or what it is that you want. Or if they say, like I said, they're married or whatever, you say, okay, cool, you know, I ain't want a responsibility anyway. Or from the beginning, if you say, I want A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or you say, I want X, Y, and Z, you get what I'm saying? Well, yeah, if you know that you can't handle X, Y, and Z or A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then don't step up to the plate. If you know you're not built for it, don't step up to it. Don't even do it. You get what I'm saying? Uh, try to value somebody else's time just like you want somebody to value your time. Because if somebody did you like that, you'd be the first one trying to fuss and cuss and act a fool and, and fight and everything else. So do a person like you want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? You treat them how you want to be treated. You know, but all in all, you know, just to sum it up, like I said, be grown, be an adult. Know what it is that you want. Say what you mean and mean what you say. And, you know, as far as, like, being used, then you have your 1 through 10 tools to know whether or not you are being used. And if any of those fit, you know, the bill or fit the category with you, you get what I'm saying, then it's time for you to go ahead and have a talk with your um old man or your old woman or whoever you with. You get what I'm saying? So it's time to go ahead and have that talk. You get what I'm saying? But this is your girl, Mama Motor. I love each and every last one of you guys. Peace out.